guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am super excited because for the month of October, the Secret Not Secret Kid Club has partnered up again with our very good friend Becky Fleck from Page Maps. And so we had 10 different members who were each sent one of the sketches for the month of October uh, to create with. And so if you check out the Page Maps blog, if you follow along with all of the links down below, you will get to check out a bunch of the projects that were created this month. And we're going to be playing with this, the rest of the sketches throughout the rest of the month. And so you can see over on the left and at the beginning of the video is the sketch that Becky sent to me. So each of us just get randomly sent a sketch. And I love that this has three photos, kind of this linear design. It works really well with my particular style. So I have taken three pictures and trimmed them down just a little bit. So in the photos, she suggested 3.75 by 5.75. And I stayed pretty close to that, except I wanted to add a little thin white cardstock border. Um, so I did account for that part as well. And I decided I wanted to play with the One Canoe 2 Willow Collection. So this is their new fall release because I absolutely love how like vibrant and rich these colors are. The color scheme in this particular collection is just, it's amazing and it comes together so well. So I'm just kind of looking at how I want to layer all of these pattern papers together. And I do go a little bit off of where the sketch had things set up. So in the sketch, there's one strip of pattern paper above the photo mat. The photo mat is a different pattern paper. And then there's two down at the bottom. And one of them is like a scallopy one. Uh, so mine is going to look a little bit different than that, which is totally okay. The sketch is just supposed to give you the inspiration, right? So I have taken this kind of dark maroon color pattern paper and I've put that behind my photos. And then I know I want to use that stripe that has that really great gold foiling and I'm using it as a vertical stripe. And then I really like that kind of dark emerald green with the florals as one of my pattern papers above it. So I'm just going to keep kind of adding some pattern papers. And then I'm trying to decide what I want my background pattern to be. And there's a lot of kind of that mustardish yellow color in the picture. So I was thinking I wanted it on the mustard yellow. Um, but it was a little bit too much, like it was too bold of a difference. So instead, I'm going to go with this kind of pale mint green triangular background. Um, but I'm going to tear some little um, like peekaboo pockets and put that pink paper behind it so that you are going to get a couple little areas where it's ripped where you see the pink. So one of those is going to be up there at the top. And then there's also going to be one at the top of my photo mat. And I'm just going to switch to the six by eight paper so that I have a little bit smaller print. Um, because only a little small piece of it's going to show. So I wanted to have the print be, you know, in a better size to fit in that space. And that's going to give these little peekaboo pockets to have just a touch of that pink. And I really like kind of how that comes together. I do have that torn edge with the stripe paper down at the bottom. So that's going to kind of be my third little area of having a torn um, spot. And it does create that visual triangle around my photos. So I think that that is super important. And then I'm just gonna kind of start embellishing. So there are mainly two embellishment clusters in this particular sketch. One is on the top left between the first two photos, and then one is in the bottom right between the last two photos. And the one in the top left-hand corner definitely has, you know, more, a little bit more detail and more weight to it. There's some tags and things that are shown in the sketch up there. So I'm kind of keeping that in mind as I pull out some of the ephemera from this particular collection. I know that I like that tag up there. I know that I like having the two pieces of wood veneer, and those are both from Studio 40. So I want to include those, one in each cluster, because I feel like there's enough wood in the pictures that that wood veneer really kind of adds to the feel of the layout and creates a little bit of pop. I did feel like this tag was getting a little bit lost in the background, so I'm just going to put a little thin white cardstock border around it, and that's going to help a lot with making sure that it stands up. So if you're trying to combine patterns and you feel like your patterns are kind of all melting together, try putting a really thin cardstock border around one or two of those layers, and that usually makes a huge difference in how the patterns all kind of flow and sit together. 
So then I went ahead and grabbed this Studio 40 chipboard and these are some really tiny chipboard pieces. And I'm adding just a couple of hearts to my clusters. I did take the Willow sticker sheet and I wanna add one little floral element to each one of my clusters as well. And it's just gonna be kind of peeking out from behind my embellishment clusters. Um, so I want a little bit of that floral to show, but I don't want it to be a huge emphasis on the layout itself. So these particular photos were three kind of close-up pictures. When we were in Cooperstown this summer for my son's baseball tournament, we went to this huge cider mill. And so two of them are just from pictures from outside the cider mill itself, just kind of close-ups of some of the signage and the textures and things that I really liked. Some of the small details, you could say. And then that middle picture, we did a little tour of the cider mill where you could see like all of the conveyor belts and all of the ways that they use the apples to make cider. And they had these, it was all upstairs. And so they had these really cool areas where it was like a plexiglass or like a area of the floor where you could see through it into what was happening down below in the factory. So we just took a picture of all of our feet with this kind of apple conveyor belt underneath. And so that's what that third picture is going to show. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in, this is an older sequin mix from Spiegel Mom Scraps, but it's one of my absolute favorites. And so it matches perfectly with this particular collection. So I'm just gonna add some of the sequins. So there's some light brown and dark brown some of the mint green, a little light pink, and I'm just kind of scattering those between my two embellishment clusters. So it is gonna kind of have both a horizontal linear design as well as my embellishment clusters are gonna kind of be on the diagonal through that middle photo. And that works out really well because that middle photo is the one that actually has like pieces of us in it. The other ones are just um, photos from the actual venue that we went to. And so that's going to do it for this particular layout. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I interpreted and used my page map sketch for the month. Make sure you do click down below. My supplies are down there if you want to check any of those out, as well as the other ladies who are playing along. And I'll see you soon. Bye.